How excited are you right now? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Good. All right, we got a little bit of excitement in the room. Hopefully by the end it gets more exciting. At the MIT Media Lab, we look at using technology to measure emotion. And one of my favorite ways of measuring excitement is with this sensor right here that measures my skin conductance. And you can see on this graph over here, that's some skin conductance over there. Now what's interesting about this is that as a person gets excited or frustrated or anxious, the technical term here is physiologically aroused, we'll see an increase in skin conductance. And I want to show you how that information can be really interesting and tell really awesome stories. So this is a child with autism in occupational therapy. And this is her skin conductance during that therapy session. We can see at the beginning of therapy, she gets a little bit overwhelmed. She gets pretty excited. And the therapist has her go into a ball pit. And she sits there in the ball pit. And we can see that her arousal decreases really well. But then she gets excited again. Well, she ends up going in the ball pit again. And we can see for her, this ball pit is really great for helping her calm down. Now I want to share another story with you. This child is really overwhelmed by loud noises. It bothers her a lot. But what we can see is that when she's in this cuddle swing that tightens right around her and she rocks back and forth, it's, oh, it's great. She's really able to relax and we see that arousal decreasing. Now, if you're actually paying attention, you're like, Elliot, I don't know, look at the end of that graph over there. And you're right. <laughs> it actually starts increasing and in fact, her arousal goes off the roof. And what happens here is a phenomenon I call Mr. Bucket. Now, Mr. Bucket makes really loud noises and is a robot. And we can see in this child's behavior when this happens, she loses her ability to talk. And actually, she runs and hides under the table and covers herself with a chair because it's so scary for her. I believe tools like this can help occupational therapists build a better emotional experience for the children they help. And so the bigger question I have here is, what other emotional experiences can we make better in the world? A little small tidbit I want to show you of something else. This is the skin conductance of someone watching the Blue Man Group. And what we can see here, their arousal when listening to Crazy Train and Freebird, great, they are super excited. But then when we listen to Furleys, not so much. I believe information like this can help designers create better products. So the question I want everyone here to ask, if we're going to create thriving communities, ask this question. How can we measure the emotional experiences that we create? I encourage you to stop by my booth outside. I've got movies. You can measure your arousal in real time. And we can talk about the emotional experiences you create. Thank you. <laughs>